All right, a quick narrative of my current position. Uh, I seem to be in an alpine or subalpine meadow running along the ridge, ridge trails here to my left. It goes along, pass through those trees, hopefully stays pretty flat, and then has a pretty steady climb to the summit. It's uh, 2.30 or 3.30 now, hoping to be there by 4, 4.15. Got some beautiful snow here in the nook of the mountain. That's Red Mountain. Um, I don't know the names of most of these mountains, but they are definitely named. That's probably Pyramid Mountain right there, dead center. Um, and like I said, that one right to the left of it's probably got a name, and there's one just behind it that's got some snow that's hard to see. And then another one with a peculiar shape right dead center there. Anyhow, look those up later. Um, and then coming across here, nothing too interesting until you get to this mountain. Uh, again, I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm sure it has some fascinating name. So again, it's 3.30. I started on this trail at 12.50. That's when I hit the turnoff for Red Mountain from the mainline trail. So that means I've been going almost three hours, two hours and 40 minutes. Um, so two hours, 40 minutes, so 20 minutes. I don't think I'll quite make it to the ridge in the, or the top in the 33 hour span that I was hoping for. Um, but we'll see. Let's see the trail coming up. Um, it's immediately steep and steady uh for a good two miles i'd say i'm past the three mile mark right now uh there's some flat -er bits but it's mostly steady uphill pretty hard work you got a nice stream it's july the 4th and it's going strong so i assume it'll go at least through the month um about five minutes in so if you need water that's your last chance until you get way up here and then you're in snow and I've passed a little snow on the trail and again it's going to be uh, weather and time of year dependent and I passed a big snow bank down below so if I were desperate I could get snow there um, you can see there's some 